because uh, we've turned to more of a product-driven organization and a DevOps, and uh, we're, we're moving more and more uh, product teams onto that DevOps process, yep. so we can shift left uh, a lot of the activities that a uh, developer in the past had to go over a fence to ask for uh, help, and, yep. and you know, kind of the automation of the network and the security built in mm -hmm. allows us to be able to shift that left. Because yeah, you know, when you start building all these clouds now and multi-regions, multiple AZs or different cloud providers or SaaS providers, um, you're moving data all over the place mm -hmm. and if you don't have a single pane of glass to see that entire network and be able to uh, route stuff accordingly, it's going to be a zoo. If your whole career has been networking in the data center and all of a sudden there's this cloud thing that you don't really understand, you need somebody to help you sort of get there and we're doing that in a multi-cloud way and we have all kinds of different levels to teach people how to do infrastructure as code. That's another thing, you know, data center guys, they never did infrastructure as code. It was, you had to bolt it in and plug right. stuff in. Right. But now things are being done much faster with infrastructure as code and we're teaching people how to do that. Yeah, I mean, 